Good afternoon, CIS 101. This is Derek Fuller reporting on our assignment for weeks three and four. For my assignment, I chose truck drivers as my vulnerable population. This profession was chosen because truck drivers often spend long hours driving goods across the country via the interstate highway system. These drivers are often fatigued and a fatigued driver not only puts themselves at risk, but also puts the general public at large at risk. Truck drivers are also a vulnerable population due to the truck driver lifestyle. In addition to driving long distances and long hours, truck drivers sit and are inactive for a long period of time and do not engage in much physical activity. They often don't obtain the proper restorative sleep and often eat fast food and other non-nutritious meals because they are constantly on the go in their efforts to deliver their load within deadline. My assignment is designed as a proposal to provide health and wellness services to the drivers of Amalgamated Trucking Inc. My company, Dairy Health Systems, provides services via our custom fit bands that measure driver's sleep habits and sleep efficiency. Our Dairy Health app measures driver speed, hours driven, exercise metrics, provides healthy food choices, and other cool health and safety related features. I put this proposal together utilizing all the tools we learned in tutorials one and two. For example, I've incorporated Convert to SmartArt to list our services seen here on slide two. I've also input um, online pictures as you see my dairy health bands. Look at the transitions from slide to slide and the various animations from topic to topic. If you go to slide five, you'll see that I've also applied the create chart feature to demonstrate some of the metrics my app and Fitband captures, which looks pretty cool. Throughout the presentation, you'll see various pictures of screenshots of the data and features of my Dairy Health app. As you go throughout the presentation, beginning with my presentation theme selection, you will recognize various themes learned in tutorials one and two. My presentation closes with the insertion of a YouTube video indicating that my presentation has come to a close. I hope you like the presentation and agree that I've incorporated most, if not all, of the materials covered in tutorials one and two.